Hi Allison, I thought I would review a few things uh, about your your painting on canvas here. I've got it out on the table with um, with a stretcher bar actually. If you see the wooden bars around it, that's just uh, some stretcher bars I'm using for another project. So they're much larger than your painting, but I'm using them just to demonstrate how, how your painting would get stretched. So um, yeah, the canvas gets wrapped around bars, um, custom cut to fit the, the size of your painting. So the front of just your entire painting there um, gets wrapped around some bars and I like to put staples on the back but there's only an inch and a half or so of margin here which is not a lot of work to work with so um, I'll end up wrapping that around and putting the staples on the side here so um, yeah some people like to just have their their canvases stretched and then minimal just hang it like so um i have in the past painted that edge once it's wrapped around the bars um, that edge can be painted black or a complementary color a dark blue would work in your case here so that when the staples and that white edge there are on the sides um, that can be painted like a dark blue to uh, correspond and sometimes people do that just to like hang it temporarily and then frame it later, um, which is an option, but um, we can obviously do that or both, where once it's stretched, it can then be framed. So um, yeah, the uh, if you have any thoughts about whether, you know, what kind of frame or whether you don't want to frame just yet or you just want it stretched, you can let me know. We can just go from that. Um, but yeah, when I stretch it, um, it will be on three quarter inch bars. So the bars themselves, like, that gets wrapped around there, staples on the side, three quarter inches deep. So I would choose a frame, and I'm looking at the side of a frame here, that is deep enough to hold at least three quarter inch bars. Because if something, if your frame is too shallow or too small, the bars will stick out the back like so, and you don't want that. So um, I've grabbed a few frames here just for illustrative purposes again. Um, something kind of... Uh, basic, wood, warm. This would work with this piece. <laughs> I, I mostly just want to gauge what, what style you're looking for. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> other end of the spectrum, something quite opulent. And this looked Italian or something to me, definitely European, but um, yeah, water ripples. Uh, similarly with water ripples, I've got a um, like a, a, a rich dark gold with, with rippled carved uh, texture on the front there. And that frame is also available in a large version, also in like a silver pewter kind of color. Cool versus warm. Um, but yeah, e these frames I have not sized or checked for um, pricing or availability or anything yet. I've got a few different vendors that I work with. And, um, you know, if we've got a style we want to shoot for, I can definitely use some of these. But I can also definitely show you some other frames as well. So um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. If you like any of these or if you'd like to see more, or you've got style, something that you want to match it to in your home, I can... I can work with whatever ideas you have. So um, yeah, I thought I would just review the, the basics of having it stretched. My turnaround is generally two to three weeks, but um, once we get going on it, I can let you know, you know, just how long everything's gonna take. So, and obviously costs and everything before I, I order anything. And yeah, so um, let me know if you have any questions and we can go from there. Look at this fancy frame. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon. Thanks, bye-bye.